Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here, back again with another video. Just a disclaimer before we start the video, again, don't take my word as gospel and do your own research. As you guys can see in the title, in today's video we're going to be talking about a sport that I think is very undervalued and that is the sport of tennis. I've been banging on the sport of tennis now for a few months. I'm very excited in what the potential has for it and I'm going to explain why in this video. For years, people have been collecting the typical sports when it comes to sports cards. So typical sports like basketball, baseball, and the NFL. But as those markets now are starting to get really hot, people are looking for alternative investments. So you've got uh, sports like the UFC, which are seeing a rise in price. Um, an example being Conor McGregor's Bloodlines rookie card PSA 10s going for 6,700 US dollars. Even the WWE, you've got Ric Flair's rookie card in a PSA 8 going for $2,000. And as we've seen in the last few months, one of the hottest cards right now is the Tiger Woods upper deck card from golf. When speaking about that, I personally think tennis is bigger than all the other three sports. It is also run year long round. You've got three major tournaments uh, in three of the major sports card markets. So you've got the Australian Open in Australia, uh, the US Open, which is in America, and the Wimbledon, which is in uh, the UK. When it comes to sports cards related to tennis, there isn't a prism, optic, or select sort of set with tennis, but you've got companies like Leaf that put out tennis cards here and there, and also Tops that put out limited edition sets. NetPro put in out a set in 2003, which features probably the greatest rookie class in sports. And that rookie class features Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Serena Williams. So three people that are worthy of GOAT status, in my opinion. In saying so, 2003 wasn't their debut year for all three of them. They actually all started a little bit earlier but it's the first card that they have printed for each other. So it's the closest thing to a rookie card for them. The Net Pro 2003 set also features a base set, uh, an international set, uh, a glossy set, which is short print to 5,000, and an elite set, which is short print to 2,000 cards. When it comes to the potential of tennis cards, I think it's enormous. You know, all three players right now could retire, uh, and I don't think their careers could be replicated for the next 20 years. Roger and Raphael are both well liked as well. Serena isn't as well liked, but she's definitely well respected and she actually has more accolades than the other two. I definitely think they're blue chip investments as well. I think they're up there with athletes like LeBron James, Michael Jordan, uh, Tom Brady and Kobe Bryant. Another thing as well is the rivalry aspect. So you've got rivalries in sport like the Lakers Celtics. Uh, you've also got the Yankees and Red Sox. I actually also think the, uh, the Nadal-Federer rivalry is up there with them. Like Tiger Woods coming out with a documentary very soon, I've, I think there will be a documentary on the rivalry of Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. Um, as we saw with The Last Dance coming out, and also, like I just mentioned, the Tiger Woods documentary coming out, um, a lot of their cards were skyrocketed. So if Nadal and Federer end up having a documentary coming out about them, um, their cards will mul multiply as well. When you go to the PSA pop report as well for Tiger Woods upper deck rookie card, he actually has 21,000 cards that have been graded so far. When you compare that to Roger Federer, Roger Federer only has 168. So that's not even 1% of Tiger Woods, um, you know, cards that have been graded. So I think the discrepancy in the supply of Tiger Woods golf cards versus Roger Federer tennis cards means there's a lot of room to grow when it comes to the price. Tiger Woods upper deck PSA 10 card goes for $600 right now. Looking at Roger Federer's rookie NetPro PSA 10 card, that actually goes for $570. So a little bit less with way less supply of the card as well. Obviously Tiger Woods card is also a little bit slightly inflated because he's about to have that documentary coming out as well. But that's also actually seen a massive dip since the explosion. Right now you can find the Roger Federer NetPro base for $20 US dollars. The PSA 9 goes for just over $200 US dollars. And as I just spoke about before, the PSA 10 goes for 570 US dollars. So massive room for um, huge return on investment when it comes to these cards. Uh, you gotta add into the fact that you're adding grading fees into it. So 20 US dollars plus, you know, around 20 US dollars to grade, $40 total spend with the potential to end up going to, you know, 570 US dollars for a PSA 10, as long as you're being picky, I think is a great move. That's it for today's video, guys. Let me know down below if you like my pick for an undervalued sport. Let me know down below as well if you have any other sports that you're looking at. I'm definitely trying to research some other sports as well right now. As always, give us a like and hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.